a born geographer. That's how her teacher described Izzy Rag after her entry to the Royal Geographical Society was commended in their Young Geographer competition 2018. After composing an essay on the wildlife of the Arctic from the perspective of a polar bear over the summer, recognition by the society came as a surprise. Miss Cook comes um, comes up to me and, and says, I've, I've got this email from, from the, um, young, uh, the Royal Geographical Society that your essay's been highly commended, and I was just like, what, 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 like, what, this is crazy. I was just really shocked that they thought my work was really, well, commended, so oh, yeah, I was really happy. But the teachers appeared altogether less surprised. I wasn't surprised in the sense that I thought, you know, she's, cause she is an amazing geographer, but I was surprised and delighted that she'd um, you know, got the um, accolade because it was fully deserved. Straight away I could see that she um, had a real passion for geography and uh, within a term she was saying that's something she would like to do at university. And the future is looking bright for this Mount School pupil. Know she's quite keen on the issues of climate change, which are very topical at the moment, which is what the um, essay was about. So uh, perhaps in that field, um, the doors will be open to her. Doing a geography degree um, gives students a huge amount, array of skills and knowledge. With a strong interest in climate change, the focus is firmly on the importance of looking after our planet. I think people kind of like to bury their head in the sand in the sense about climate change and how it's not affecting our habitats whereas it, whereas it is because it is a fragile habitat it's so vulnerable and susceptible to changes in like the climate and I think for factors like biodiversity it's so important to maintain and conserve that because I don't think we realise how much we rely on it for stuff like medicine like we massively rely on it in scientific research in a scientific field that is primarily male dominated, it's worth noting that most of those commended by the society this year were female. Maybe physical geography as well can be seen as a very kind of male subject because it's kind of like the landscape and it's maybe not really something you'd really associate with women and I don't know why, that's just a stereotype and I don't see that a man would be any better at being doing geography. It's geography, anyone, I mean, if you're interested and passionate about it, I think more girls should do it and enjoy the subject. I'd just say get involved, like genuinely, if, if you don't think that you're good or you don't think you're quite as adequate as your male counterparts, like don't think that at all. Like I really didn't think that this would come of anything. I think girls should go for stuff just as much as boys because they're just as adequate on all levels. For this young geographer, it's believed that the commendation from the Royal Geographical Society is only the beginning. Kira McFadgen, that's TV.